Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Gigi, and today we're gonna dive into our first lesson about how to draw portraits and busts of people. So, you may be wondering what materials we're gonna be needing for today. We'll dive into that. You'll need a sketchbook or a stack of papers, pencil and eraser, patience, a pen or a thin medium and black markers. Let's dive in. So for this project, we're gonna be focusing on how to draw a head, how to draw the neck and the shoulders, and really just kind of focusing on embracing that. start out by drawing a circle. Make sure that it's even on both sides and as close to even as you could possibly do. Then you're going to draw two lines going down from the sides of that circle and then make almost like a triangle or a pyramid shape connecting those two lines. From there you're going to draw your neck which you're going to go in the middle of the pyramid shape and then draw two lines going straight down. And then once you're done with the neck, you're gonna draw a line going down the middle of the face vertically. And then right at the bottom part of that circle, you're gonna draw a line going horizontally. This spit splits up the face into four sections. And now we're gonna draw in the line for the forehead or the hairline. And then we're gonna draw another line they'll be for the eyebrows at the start of the eyes. And then we're going to take our pencil and then make two little dots making our eye shape. And then we're going to draw a straight line going across for our bottom of our eyelid. Then we're going to create our nose shape by almost making two slanted lines around that vertical line going through the middle and then one horizontal line to make the bottom of the nose. And then you're gonna repeat the same thing that we did for the other eye over there. Now at this point, I'm drawing some really bushy eyebrows, but you can make whatever eyebrows you want. I just have a preference towards bushy eyebrows. right here I'm going to make some nose structure. So I'm going to make the part where the nose starts to dip down and make the nostrils. And then I'm going to start with the mouth. I'm going to make a horizontal line going across and then two little dots for where the middle of the eyes are. This really helps kind of proportion out where the mouth is going to be. And then the bottom lip to where the chin starts. And then you're going to want to start from the bottom of the eyebrow all the way to about the midpoint of the nose to make the ears. If you want smaller ears or you can make elf ears, whatever you want to do. Now overall we have the basic shape of the face. At this point you can adjust the jawline to make it different or you can customize it, add any facial hair at this point in time. Right now I'm just kind of redefining that jawline and really getting to a place that I feel comfortable with. So now I'm going to draw the shoulders. The shoulders I like to draw in with like two triangles on either side. This really helps kind of keep 
the neck structure and the shoulder structure looking pretty normal, pretty just anatomically correct. Now I'm going to start doing the eye detail. I'm going to start drawing in the corners of the eyes and then the bottom eyelid, really kind of defining that eye shape. At this point, you can really just turn the eye shape into however you want, but I'm keeping it straightforward right now. And as you complete a section and really start to flesh out a lot of different details, you can start erasing your guidelines. I'm just finishing up those eye details. I'm adding in the people, adding in the highlights of the eye, where he's looking. Now you can make it looking to left, right, but I have him looking straight forward in this one. Make sure you put in the details of the eye crease and any eye folds for the lower and upper lid. And you're going to repeat the same exact process with the other eye. So now I'm going to really start going over my lines a little bit heavier and really defining that jawline. And also make sure to start doing the lips.
At this point, you can also start doing the details for the ear. The ears are really difficult, and honestly, if you want to do a stylized version, go for it. For ears, I usually have a reference of an actual picture of an ear, so that way I can get the exact shapes down, and I recommend that you do the same. So now I'm going to start making a higher hairline and I'm going to start placing the hair and erasing some of those guidelines. Now you can give the hair like whatever style you want. For this one, I want to go with kind of curly, messy, kind of like those beach vibes. Feel free to add any details in there, like I'm getting him some facial moles or some freckles and really kind of bring out that personality of your character. This is a great time to really make it look original and make it your own.
Now I'm going to start inking. I'm sped up the video a little bit at this part because I'm mainly going over the lines with just a pen. It's important to really pay attention to the pen pressure that you're doing. If you're pushing down hard or pushing down light, this will really affect how like dark or how light the pen is on the paper.
Now that I have everything kind of penned out the way I wanted to, I'm going to make some lines bolder with a black acrylic marker pen. And this will really help kind of enhance the overall drawing and make some variation in the line. And there you have it, you have your completed bust. This is what you call a face, shoulder, and neck picture. Now I urge you to really play around with the proportions and really practice this. The more you practice, the better you're going to be. Look at references of people, look at your favorite characters in your video game or your show, and really focus on where their eyes are in comparison to their nose, their mouth, their, on their face, and it'll only help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like below. And as always, stay happy, healthy, and hydrated.
and we'll see you next time.